on the good camera. Just don't drop it. Back out scan. Um, look through my hole, see what we got here. So this is it's impassable for unless you got ropes, of course. And uh, that's the road that Stapleton Road is on. And you can see it remains pretty tall all the way down. So it seems to me as in through this creek, it's coming and feeding. It's got, that's going to be the way to come. It's going to be from the, the top of it, not from the bottom of it. Pick up my little stick. All right, so. I'm going to lay the land. I hope this don't make you sick. It's going to walk you down through. Just kind of a feel of what it's like to trek through this. Definitely machete. It's a leaf. I'm not seeing a lot of, and I'm not looking too hard. I'm looking over my shoulder a lot, honestly. But uh, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, really spectacular rocks. Although I am seeing down in there shinies. So I cross here. Yeah, I got to cross here. So I'm just soaking time back and forth. <coughs> so I'm here on the other side. I don't know if this would. This looks like the, the river has come up here. This is loose, fine sediment. So that generally means there's water around. What the hell is that? Oh, this trophy from here is just a rock. Someone piled it, maybe. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off to record the uh, GPS timestamp. I'll pick it back up again on the way down. There's our creek. I am on the uh, west side, Beaver Brook. That's what it looks like above us. I got this coming up, but I want to get a GPS mark on it. Let's see. So we got a small rock, black dirt. So if there's something in there, it should show up pretty easy. I would think anyway. All right, well, just gonna mark this spot here. And that leads back to the highway. That's north. West, south, east, where Stapleton Road's probably going to be off over there. Hello YouTube, this is Lobo. Coming to you from uh, a secret location inside the Rockies. And uh, I just found my bug out hole. Woo -woo. So when the STHF, man. I'm all on it. Been a nice Saturday here. I had to cross the river. I was ready for the cold, man. I've been training for it. So I took my shoes and my socks off. I didn't bring any boots because I didn't think to buy any. But anyway, so I went across there barefooted. And it was a little bit cold, but what I wasn't prepared for was slippery rocks and stubbing my toes it's all right so uh, I figured I'd hang out on this little uh, peninsula here got a little creek that feeds into it here I may may walk around a bit and see what we have going on it looks like it's passable up that way 
And that's one side of this little valley. And then we got the other side. The side that I actually came in on and came down from. Back up there where the river turns a little bit. I wanted to kind of just uh, come down here and check it out. And uh, Penny wasn't in the mood for uh, another boot camp day. And Frankie would have got me killed, so I left him at the house this afternoon. All right, well, I'm gonna have me a little picnic here.
had a pretty cool experience. Total stranger. Strangers. I think it was father and son. Oh, they were rock climbing. And they were almost to the bottom. It's right around this bend. They were almost to the bottom and I uh, was getting ready to cross the creek how I got over. And they gave me a quick primer on how to walk along on these rocks that were in the creek. And what to cling on to on the side of this face. So I could try it, so I could just travel up the river where you run out of bank. But that was pretty damn cool of them. There's no way in hell I would have tried that unless they taught me talked me into it, so hell yeah. Alright, well there's my highway. I just gotta yeah, alright. We'll find a way up there. Yeah.